Hi, welcome to the video. First, I just wanted to start off by saying Happy New Year, and I hope that you had a great holiday with your friends and family. This video is going to be a recap of the top products of 2019, and what makes a top product is essentially sales, so basically all of the products that I'm going to be using to create the makeup look today are the top selling products of 2019. So let's go ahead and get started. These aren't necessarily in order, I kind of put them in order of how I normally do my makeup. So the first product is the Exfoliate Stick. And I really love this. I probably should be using it more than I do. It's definitely gentle enough to use every day if you wanted to. I probably only use it about a couple times a week, but it works really great to remove dead skin, which will make the Rally Balm work better, which brings us to the second product, and that is the Rally Balm. I'm not gonna show you mine here because it broke. It's kind of a mess. I need to get a new one, but the Rally Balm is one of my personal favorite products. I use it all of the time. It really helps to moisturize and hydrate the lips. It's great. I also sometimes will use it for my cuticles too. So it's definitely like a multi-purpose product, which in my book is always great. The next product is the Primetime Eyeshadow Primer. And the primer works really great to even out the eyelids if you have any discoloration there. It also helps to keep your eyeshadows lasting longer and help the pigmentation of your eyeshadows show up more. I personally don't really use the primer that much. I find that I, because I use a lot of oil-based skincare products that this tends to still crease on me, but an easy fix for that would be to just use oil blotting sheets. Um, so I probably would use it more if I had oil blotting sheets, which I don't have at the moment, but I did go ahead and use it today and I really do like the fact that it evens out my eyelids and kind of gives you a nice base for your eyeshadows. The top selling eyeshadow of 2019 is in the shade called Porcelain, which I need a new one. I love this eyeshadow. It's pretty much my go-to. I will use it as a base for my other eyeshadows since I don't typically use the primer. I kind of use this instead, but today I combined both of them and it really creates a nice even color on the lids. For eyeliner, the top selling color was in the shade called Black, which is understandable. It's pretty standard and I went ahead and I used this to line my upper lash line and I also used it in the waterline as well. Again, it's just a nice standard black color and it goes on nice and smooth, which I really like. This next product is not really a huge surprise that it's a top seller and that is the Lash Project Mascara. I really love that this mascara is a drier formula. I, it just it works best for me. Whenever I've used a more wet formula, it kind of gets all over and makes a huge mess. So this is really great. It stays a long time and another thing that I really like about it being a drier formula is it's lightweight and buildable. So I can do about four coats of this mascara before I start looking a little crazy, but I really do love this. The next product is the Natural Lip Liner, which has been a favorite of mine this year as well. I've used it a lot, you can tell here. I do need a new one, but I'm gonna wait until I get a little bit more use out of it. But I really like this lip liner because it's, as the name says, it's very natural looking, and it pretty much looks similar to my natural lip color. Maybe just a little bit more on the nude side, but overall, I really like this lip liner. The top selling lipstick of 2019 also is not a huge surprise and it is the shade called Audrey. This has been our number one lipstick from basically the beginning of this launching. It is such a gorgeous color. The formula is smooth and creamy and hydrating and it has a little bit of like a fruity berry smell from it. It's not a synthetic fragrance, but the combination of ingredients help to give it that really nice fresh smell and this has always been a favorite of mine too. For lip glosses, the top selling color was in the shade called Honey Badger and this is also one of my favorites, kind of go figure, like a lot of these products are favorites of mine as well. I really like this lip gloss because it's a nude color so it works well with a lot of other lipsticks and it's in the mint to be formula so it does have a really nice refreshing 
little hint of spearmint, which I love. The final top selling product of 2019 is the blush in the shade called God of Glow. I don't typically wear blush, but I really do love ours because all of the colors are very nice and natural looking. I just applied a little bit. You might not even be able to see it on camera, but in person, it just gives the skin a nice, beautiful glow. And surprisingly, even though I have rosacea and I naturally have a lot of pink in my skin, this doesn't necessarily add to that because it has a little bit more of like a peachy um, undertone to it. So it is very nice and natural looking without like, bam cheeks, which I really appreciate about this particular blush. And that is the top 10 products of 2019. Overall, the thing that I really like is that these products work really beautifully together to create a very nice everyday natural makeup look, which I'm actually really enjoying. I think it turned out really pretty. Anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite products were for 2019. I'd be really curious to know that. So leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.